what's up everybody welcome back to my channel this is Lance co-founder of BH Capital Enterprises also team leader of the Abacus group uh, team Mamba is the name of my team if you have any questions about that hit me up always looking to add more team members all the time um, but yeah just want to have a quick conversation about uh, some of the latest news that you know hit pretty close to home will actually hit right at home um, for those of you that don't know, uh, I was born in a small city in North Carolina called Lexington. Um, and if you don't know anything about Lexington, it is uh, pretty famous for its barbecue. Um, and uh, back in the 90s, it was a big hub of, of uh, furniture manufacturing. So there were a lot of great jobs um, back when I was a child where uh, people were working in furniture factories and were making, you know, what was considered pretty good money back then. Um, but, you know, as uh, things like NAFTA came into play, uh, those jobs began to dwindle and uh, certain areas of town you can ride through and you can see these dilapidated buildings that used to be um, pretty active uh, businesses um, in terms of furniture. Um, and the latest victim um, in this whole capitalistic system is jail one windows and doors, um, which is toward the kind of the outskirts of, of the city. Uh, so back in late October, so a few a couple weeks ago, not even a couple weeks ago, but almost um, this news line dropped that jail and windows and doors is closing its doors and you know 135 people are going to be losing jobs so you know i probably know some people that you know work at this at this furniture plant um and if you you know read on in the article it'll tell you that i think the official closing date is right around christmas you know and that's it's a, it's a really unfortunate thing um but it you know it's it's been happening for a long time you know so this is something that i feel that people should plan for even me uh working in the healthcare healthcare field i am planning for the day that you know maybe artificial intelligence takes over my job or you know something happens and you know maybe my my company is acquired and and uh you know, usually when acquisitions happen, they cut some fat, you know, so maybe I'd be part of that fat that gets cut. So I'm already thinking years ahead and preparing for those types of situations. Um, and not to excuse this, because this is something that's probably very devastating to uh, the people that work there. And uh, it's, it's from my understanding that it's, it's not a situation where people are going to get moved around. The plant is just closing. Um, and I'm not sure if it's moving, you know, overseas or something like that. But even people in higher up positions are losing their jobs, you know. So it's a, it's a very unfortunate thing, like I said before. Um, but uh, I was watching uh, TV one day and a lady on a show that I was watching, she said, we don't have problems, we have options. So although it may be hard in these moments to focus on solutions or to see those options, as long as I'm of the thought process that as long as I have breath in my body, I have options. You know, nobody can take my options away except death. So cry your tears, you know, be sad. But it is my hope that that these people have plans um, after jail when windows and doors, after their careers are over at this place. Um, hopefully they have nice uh, retirement money put away. Um, hopefully they have a nice cushion to uh, provide some comfort while they're in transition. Um, but what I would personally do um, and this is with my mind currently, um, is um, I would think about, I would look at my 401k and see um, see what that balance is. 
Um, and I would consider, you know, if if uh, hopefully, you know, at least for a while, um, unemployment benefits is av- is available to these uh, to these people that are losing their jobs. Um, so I would consider taking some of my 401k, uh, cashing some of that out, and uh, investing in learning about the stock market. And what I would do is I would dedicate all of my time, not to looking for a job, but in learning how to uh, make my money, make money. And then I would go back to my 401k and grow that as best as I can. Um, So even if you have like 20, 30,000 dollars in your 401k, you know, I'd take, you know, five, maybe 10,000 of that out, take about a thousand of that, invest in, you know, learning about the stock market. Um, Of course, you know, you can hit me up about the Abacus group. Uh, Study, just, like I said, dedicate all of my time to, I would treat that like a job, learning the markets, eight to five, nine to five every day, or whatever your shift is that you're used to or accustomed to working at your job, Dedicate that time to learning the markets and then dedicate your time to applying what you've learned um, and grow that money. And then that way, you know, the the three to six months that you have unemployment benefits, by the time, you know, that's over, boom, I, I don't even need a job at this point, you know, because I know how to generate money in the markets at this point. So I'm not even worried about uh I'm not even worried about where I, what I'm going to do, you know, when my unemployment benefits run out. So hopefully, you know, just for these people, you know, understand that you do have options. Um, I know that uh, it's diff- it may be difficult to see that during this time, you know, because you have this dark cloud hanging over your head knowing that, hey, Christmas is coming. I'm about to lose my job. I don't know what I'm going to do. Or, you know, maybe you know what you're going to do. But either way, think about investing in uh, learning about the markets. Um, that's, that's definitely something that I would do um, if, 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 that, if I had that opportunity. So instead of looking at it as an unfortunate thing, look at it as an opportunity. Um, and that's, that's why I called it an opportunity. I tend to look at solutions and options, um, I probably spend 5% of my time on the problem um, because my mind automatically shifts to how can I fix this? How can I make this better? How can I come up, come out on top um, when it comes to this particular setback? Um, so if you have any questions, um, hit me up. I can definitely uh, uh, provide a little guidance um, and, and especially if you're interested in learning how to put your money to work for you. Uh, but thanks for watching. Uh, and my, my thoughts uh, and my heart goes out to the employees at Jail One Windows and Doors. Um, and for those of you who are sitting up in your comfy, cushiony jobs, don't get too comfortable.